JSON is a very popular format used in applications and APIs. In this video, we will see how to parse a JSON document in Java. You may have obtained this JSON document as a response of a REST API call or you might have read it from a file. We will see how to access its various nodes, be it a nested JSON or a nested array, etc. Here I have IntelliJ open. Let's click on new project, give it the name JSON parse, language is Java, build option is Maven and Java language is 17 for this demo. Click create. And here is our Maven project. The IDE has generated a main class and created a pom.xml file for us. Let's first go to our browser and google org.json maven. It brings us to the maven repository for org.json. Let's click on the latest version, copy the dependency to our clipboard, go back to our project, let's create a dependencies node and inside this paste the org.json dependency we copied. Let's go to the main class, remove the generated code. Let's create a string, json string. Since Java 15, we can have a text block with starts and ends with three quote marks. Inside this, we can paste a multi-line string. Let me paste an example json string here. Now as I mentioned earlier, you could have obtained it as a response to a REST API call or from a file or from somewhere else. This is a fairly complex JSON with an outer node, inside which we have the department JSON, inside which we have some key value pairs, a nested JSON location document, inside which we also have a nested array addresses, which has three JSON address objects. So this represents a fair amount of JSON structures you might have to work with in your projects. We will see how to parse this. First, let me start by using JSON object, declare a variable of its type JSON object and initialize it as new JSON object which takes in the JSON string. If you print this JSON object at this time, let's run it. We see that it comprises of the entire JSON document. To get to the nested department JSON document, let's declare another JSON object DPT and obtain it by calling the outer JSON object JSON object dot get JSON object passing in the string department. Let's print it using system out to see how it looks. Let's run this class and we see our department JSON object. Now let's get to the ID key. Declare a string ID and get it by calling department.getString passing in the key ID. Let's print it. Run the class and we see the ID tech in there. Now to say obtain the count key, let's declare an int count and get it by calling department JSON object and on it call get JSON object location and then inside it further traverse to the key count by calling get int passing in the key count. Let's print it. Run the project and we see the count of 3. Now let's see how to work with arrays. To obtain the address array, let's declare a JSON array, JSON array and call department.getJSON object location. Inside the location JSON, we have the address array. So further call get JSON array and pass in the key addresses. Let's print the JSON array address object using system out print line. Run the project and we see the three addresses. Now we can iterate over the addresses as we would do for a normal array. For int i equal to 0, i less than json array dot length i plus plus. Inside that, obtain the address json object as json array dot get json object passing in the index. Let's print the address. If we have to obtain the state for the address, we can call on this address object, get string, passing in the key state. Let's print the state, run the class, and we see the address object in the loop 
and the state for each. We can directly reach a given state. So let's say we want to get to the second state. So declare a string second state and obtain it by calling json array dot get json object passing in the index one to get to the second address object as the array starts with the zero index. And then on it call get string and pass in the key state. Let's print the second state. Run the project and here we can see our second state being printed. So this is how we can get to the individual elements inside our JSON structure. Thanks for watching.